Okay, the next part of this section involves um, the Pythagorean theorem, which you should be familiar with already, but I always like to make sure that my students know how to state it. Okay, so first of all, we're going to draw a right triangle. Okay, so here's a right triangle. I'm going to put this little squared off mark in the corner. That means this is a 90 degree angle because without that you really don't know if that's a right triangle. A right triangle has two legs and one hypotenuse. The legs are the two sides that form the right angle. So, I'm told to label one leg length A, so I will call this length A, and I will call the length of this leg B, and the longest side of the right triangle is always across from the right angle, and that is called the hypotenuse. And we normally label that as C. So remember, A is a number representing the length of a leg, B is a number representing the length of the leg, and C is a number representing the length of the hypotenuse. Now, when you're asked to state the Pythagorean theorem, the Pythagorean theorem goes with this drawing. The Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So basically, the length of one leg squared added to the length of the other leg squared is going to give me the length of the hypotenuse squared. I like to show people, it's not really a proof, but I just like to show people what's going on. If I draw a right triangle for you, and if I call, there's our little, you know, 90 degree angle. If I call this length A and this length B and this length C, if I turn this side into a square, and if I turn this side into a square, and if I turn this side into a square, the area of this square is A times A, which is A squared. The area of this square is b times b, which is b squared, okay? And the area of this square is c times c, which is c squared. And basically what the Pythagorean theorem says is, when you take these smaller areas and add them together, you will get the larger area, okay? So it's, even though that's not a proof, it gives you an idea what's happening. It's almost like your kids' two bedrooms, their square footage add up to the area in the master suite. Okay? So, the Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But remember, before you state that, you should give somebody a picture so that they know what a, b, and c represent.